Oh, hi. Welcome to another episode of Dishes by Kevin. Oh, whoops. That's going to be a problem later. Um, as you know, the uh, sharp utensils don't care about your flesh. They're not really looking out for you. Um, I've learned that the hard way a few times. And uh, I really wish I had a better sponge. I mean, that's one of the things that it's, it's hard not to be aspirational about sponges. Um, I can turn this water off. When you're doing dishes and you're, you're sponge jealous, that's the kind of envy that they're talking about in the Bible. Um, you just don't, you don't want to covet your neighbor's sponge. You don't want to covet the sponges that the Joneses or, you know, that your, your older brother uses because he's an entre entrepreneur or whatever, or venture capitalist. It, it, everyone's got their own sponge level and just make sure that yours has enough cushion to get the job done. And you'll be fine. Sometimes you feel in life like you're at the episode of your dishes podcast where this might be the, this is it. You know, this might be where I, I throw in the towel, <laughs> um, which might be the title of my next podcast. But uh, what I've got going on over here is a lot of pots and pans. It's really only three, but to me, it's one, two, three, or a million. It's in there, they're the same you know, when you hit that number. Um, I'm sweating because I'm wearing a, a hoodie, which was really unnecessary. I just thought style-wise it would be good. Um, I'm seeing some openings here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do a, a full rinse down of all this stuff that's been sudsed up. That's the next step. So step one, now we're 40 minutes in. I think it's fair to give you guys some steps. Um, step one, you're gonna want to fill the sink with soapy water, which means emptying the sink first, um, and then, actually you could leave the dirty dishes in it, I don't know, it all depends on what kind of flotsam and, and, and detritus you have at the bottom of your sink. I had a lot, there, there was some gross stuff. You would do wanna clear out the drain, you wanna clear out like if you got some kale, or uh, a hairball, or whatever the heck it is that you, you, you've got in there. You wanna get it cleaned out, and then, um, and then you can fill it with the soapy water and suds up all these dishes. And now the process is happening. This is actually the first time in my life I've ever done this, which is um, that I can recall. I definitely I have done it. Um, I, was, I was apprised of this approach one time and uh, I said, that sounds brilliant, you know? But then I didn't do it for a long time. And then now it's the first time I and of recent memory that I have done it. So now we're doing the rinse off and this is what's beautiful. I mean, I feel like I'm hitting this, my real stride here. I'm hitting the finish line. You know, um, the last three episodes when I did this, um, you know, dish volume was low and I like to keep it that way. I like to be doing small batches, um, kind of like, like a fine artisanal whiskey or something. Um, I like to think of my dishes that way. If I could, I'd wash the dishes in an oak barrel but you can't always do that. Um, in fact, most of the time you can't unless you have um, a large, very large oak barrel that's shallow enough to do the dishes in. Now I am gonna run into an issue, or as I like to call it, a dish issue, that it's happened before, um, this isn't the first time, but where I'm gonna get an overloaded drying rack. And what do you do? Please uh, comment below if you have any drying rack secrets. I know a lot of people are playing Jenga, just stacking up the dishes, you know, boom, boom, boom. You, you're, you're eventually, you're like, oh my gosh, I think that the dish on the very top is not the one I need. And you pull out the lower Jenga piece, all of a sudden no more bowls. Okay. Um, this is getting out of control. Sometimes when things get this wet, you really, you just gotta make sure your gloves are on right and you're not letting it seek, sink in. Uh, you don't wanna get your hand wet on the inside of the glove and it starts pickling. Um, there have been cases, a few people have lost their wrist 
uh, from from intense and, and very like hardcore dishwashing where they're trying to break a record and you're going and you, you're actually working with very clammy hands inside say two pairs of solid dishwashing gloves and you end up pickling at the wrist and the hand just falls right off it's it's like a uh, it's like a, a slightly uh, wet sponge cake uh, I'm gonna put this hmm all right, I wouldn't do this at home, um, but I'm going to prop this. I have some these these uh, cutting boards that are some of these got to go. I mean, the fact that I still even have this, I'm I'm ashamed to show this. I'm not going to show it to you. Um, some of these cutting boards, this bamboo cutting board, has got this water damage on it that is just reprehensible. Um, now I have some places where I can hang these bad boys up on the wall. I definitely recommend popping, if, if you can, putting a screw or two in the wall. In fact, put as many screws in the wall as you can hang stuff on um, because you're going to need it if you approach this my way. Now, cheese grater. This is probably the one of the worst things to wash on the planet. Um, and this thing, you got to come at it from the inside. It's like a lot of things. You want to get on the inside and work it from the inside out because a lot of the cheese fragments get stuck in there. And uh, if you just got to make sure you give it a good look through that there's no cheese stuck in the, the, the slicing um, holes. And you also, oof. And then when, when you get to the holes, you're gonna, you want to run against the grain. You, you feel me? Against the grain. Why? This is about spontaneity, this episode. I, I had to come back to the theme just briefly, and that is kill the ritual, um, free the soul. So most people aren't even gonna get that tidbit because they're not gonna make it as long as you have. And the fact that you're still here, thank God. Um, I am uh, I'm shocked that you are a real person still and, and not a bot or something. And honestly, Hats off to you, uh, kudos. You're phenomenal. Your stamina is the kind of stamina that it takes to really kill it in life. Um, okay, now I'm getting down to the home stretch here, 46 minutes in. Uh, I can't believe how few dishes I've actually done. I've got three pots and pans, which is gonna be, I'm gonna have to race to the end of this. This kind of gives you a very good insight into the psychology of a, a procrastinator because I've got a big project that I actually want to do. Um, not, nothing against dishes. I mean, not to do a dish on my own show, but and I'm going to get to it. Um, I got less than 15 minutes to kick it off. So some people like to do uh, a pre a pre activity timer, you know. So it's like rather than a timer where you give yourself 20 minutes to do an activity, some people like to give themselves, you know, 20 minutes to start an activity. And when that timer goes off, you got to start no matter what. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm not one of those people yet. I'm trying to be. Um, I've now have less than 13 minutes uh, to wrap this up. So. I'm doing this sudsing and rinsing. Now you don't want to rush it Oops, too bad because then what's going to happen is you're going to get jacked in the scoring. Um, someone just tried to buzz into our apartment, which my wife is going to have to handle that. I am not, I'm in the mode here. She knows it. Um, I think she ordered some food, which does happen. And if she walks in here, it's, uh, it's game over for this show. I might have to pause. Oh boy, um, let's see. Now I have a lot of hooks in the kitchen. That's my technique. Um, the amount of stuff that I'm washing, it looks like to you maybe the accumulation of dishes from 14 weeks, but it's not. It's just my wife likes to use dishes very liberally. We're a liberal family in that respect. And um, you know, I love her, she's a good cook. She's more efficient than I am, I can tell you that. And um, that's just how she does it. The way I do it is I like to, uh, uh oh. Yeah. I'm almost done. 
The way I do it is um, I like to uh, wash and then I place.